Okay, hi guys, welcome again. My name is Victor and you want to call me the social media oracle and I'm here to talk about some social media things. Today I want to talk about um, how I create content, right? Um, one major way for me, content creation is, I record videos like this, you know, I record videos, I have this kind of conversations with you, all right? I check out, you know, you know responses to the videos, which ones, um, did very well with my audience, which one did you like, which one did you comment on, you know. So I turn those parts of the video into other types of content. For example, I'm doing a video right now, right? So maybe uh, while analyzing the video, I might notice that uh, maybe we are released some type of points, people went there to watch all of that. So I might go there, pick those points and create a regular post from that, you know, a post where you just have you know, you just type everything that you said there, you know, that kind of post, right? Text kind of post. So I'll create text post. From that text post, I will create um, quotes, all right? From that, from that same quotes, I will create, you know, very short videos. You know, you can create text videos too, all right? So I create uh, short videos that I can use as reels on Instagram. I can use as stories on Instagram. I can use as shorts on YouTube. I can use as fleets on, um, on what's it called on Twitter. I can use as uh, posts on TikTok. You know, so this is just one video still, and you see how you know I'm putting it across all these other places, right? So I could even remove the video and just play the audio, and the audio becomes audio that I can use for podcasts. All right, this video will go on YouTube. All right, the video will also be available on uh, on Facebook, on Instagram. You know, you see how the content keeps going. All right, I put it up on Twitter still, then on LinkedIn still. All right, are you seeing that? All right. So this is one content that I've been able to repurpose for several things, and it just keeps going. All right. The beauty of content is one type of content can be repurposed for several things. You can twist it in a variety of ways. You can move it here, twist it here, you know, just turn it around, you know, and make it what you want to make it, okay? It is, it, I, I find it so easy to do. I, I, I know so many people find, make, find it difficult, but, but it's so easy for me, okay? So what I try to do is I try to teach, you know, the concept and explain how I do it as many times as I can so that you can pick from this, so you, you can learn and you can actually do this yourself. Okay, so there are times where you have videos or rather where you, where you find yourself teaching or explaining things to people. You might not record it, all right? But you explain things to people, you teach them, you show them particular things that, oh, ah, you can do this, so wanna try this. You know, this will be better. If you check out this, this will be good for you, right? So you do all of that. But the problem is you did not record it. So because you did not record it, you probably don't have it as content. You get what I'm saying now. So what you could do is probably record yourself in conversations as many times as possible. All right. Every training I have, I try to have a recording of it because you never can tell. You might just need a part of it to use as content somewhere. All right. You might not remember everything you said. All right. Like me, I, I teach most times without a script. So, you know, I just have guidelines. I just follow my guidelines and I, you know, and I drop value. Right. So sometimes I may not remember exactly what I said, but when it's recorded, and I find that there's some really cool parts that I would have said some things or particular parts where people ask the question and I responded, you know, that value was very important to some other people. Right, because you now notice that a lot of people watch that area and that area was a fantastic area in your video. Do you understand? So it's good to just record all your conversations, all the same, you know. Um, I don't know if you know Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. That's exactly what he does, all right? He's in any meeting, he goes to the office, he just records it, all right? I'm sure they'll, they'll have several of those videos that they did not publish, all right? But the beauty is the day he needs to publish, he already has the content. Do you understand? So it's good to record your conversations. Uh, there's a client of ours that... Um, it is one of the directors of um, Havana Hospital, right? And I told him, you go for all these big board meetings and you deliver stuff. You go for all these trainings and empowering of staff and all that. You deliver great stuff, but we don't have that content because nobody records it. So now the policy is anytime he's speaking, anytime he's going for such meetings, they record it so that 
when we need content for whatever we want to do, we can use that content. Do you get what I'm saying now? And that is how content actually works. Okay? You can plant some. You can might not be able to plant some. It can just happen. Or it could be spontaneous. So if somebody is recording it, that's good for you. So maybe you should walk in around with the cameraman, all right? Or walking around with the guy that can record with the phone. Right? That that that, that can help you. All right. So content is everywhere. All right. You just have to know how to pick it. All right, repurpose it, twist it, and use it for whatever you want to use it for. Okay, use it for whatever you want to use it for. If you go to um, what's that place called, Oshodi now, for example, <coughs> just spend ten minutes in Oshodi observing people, whatever they are doing. You will see content that you can use if you do skits. All right, if you're person that you do skits and videos, maybe funny videos and stuff, you get spend ten minutes, twenty minutes in Oshodi, you will see something that you can use. Because those guys are comedians on their own. If you go to Obalende, you will see something that you can use. All right? <clears throat> if you go to CMS, you'll see something that you can use. All right? If you go to Badagri, you'll see something that you can use. You know, so just pick a location. Probably just pick a bus stop where yeah, crazy funny things happen. Spend some 10, 15, 20 minutes there. And you'll see content that you can use for your skit. All right? If you do, <clears throat> if you're into fashion, right? Look around you. People are wearing different clothes all the time. All right. Can you comment about the clothes? Comment about comment on the combinations. All right. Look at uh, maybe the governors or the, the, the governor's wives, or look at uh, those in national assembly. All right. Talk about their clothes. Talk about color combination. You can practically do anything. All right. Anything at all. I see. I see it everywhere. And for every brand that we manage, it's very easy for us to create this content. All right. So if you have issues with content creation and all these beautiful things I'm talking about is not working for you, you can talk to me one on one. All right. Just ask me a question and we could look at your brand and come up with some type of content that could work for you. All right. Now, if you want to talk about something, all right, you ask, maybe you've put out some, uh, maybe some regular questions people regularly ask you. All right. You already have some questions that people regularly ask and you say, okay, today I'm going to deal you know, <clears throat> you're going to deal with those questions. I'm going to deal with those things these guys usually ask, right? So let's say they usually ask um, maybe things related to uh, what's it called now? Um, maybe fashion related or whatever, right? Color combinations, style combinations. Should they wear 17 colors mixed together or should they just wear two or just three or they should do rainbow color, whatever the case, right? So if you have things like that, okay, okay, these are the questions these guys are really asking about, right? So you can say, okay, this FAQ, this topic, you pick it, put it on Google and look at what comes up. Don't click search, just put it on Google. If you just put it on Google, you immediately you, you finish typing it, you see suggestions on that based on what other people are also searching to, right? So that can also help you think of topics to talk about. All right, so you could see similar things similar to what you've put there, you know. So you have a list of topics to talk about. You could also put it on Google Trends, all right, and see what is trending as regards that topic. It gives you, you know, stuff to talk about. You can put it on YouTube and see all the topics that come out. It gives you stuff to talk about. Do you understand? So there are a variety of ways you can twist it, all right, a variety of angles you can come from. It all depends on what you are looking at, all right. So. Um, there's also this this app, um, Ask the Public, all right? Just pick the keyword and put in Ask the Public. Ask the Public will now provide several questions based on what people are asking related to the keyword you have put there. Do you understand what I'm saying, right? So you can pick as many keywords as possible and get questions that people are asking. Get those questions people are asking and use those questions all right, to create your content. All right, content is everywhere. You just have to know how to twist it, how to reuse it, right? So I've shared with you how I repurpose mine, all right? I've shared with you how to pick uh, content ideas, all right? Uh, if you're still having issues, talk to me, all right? We'll talk to me, we can look at your brand and see what we can do to help you, all right? Thank you very much for listening. Let me go back to my music. All right, thank you very much for listening. See you in my next video. Remember, strategy wins battles.
red, not weapons. Strategy wins battles.